Hello everyone and I'm the Rider, and I have been waiting for this movie for so long. Ever since I saw the trailer for it at the Game Awards, I was just so ready for this. This was fantastic, a lot of fun, and wholesome. The most wholesome version of Sonic, which is a nice take on the character in the universe itself. Granted, we've now opened a huge can of worms with that post credit scene, but I have a lot of hope for this series, and I cannot wait to see where this is going. So, spoilers for the review, but the movie's been out for a while, so you've, you've seen it, you've seen it at this point. Uh, we're gonna focus on story style, the good, the bad, and what's coming up next, so... Yeah, just have fun. The story. I like the changes to some of the characters and this writing. I know the first few minutes are kind of slow and boring, but it does pick up. As soon as Eggman finds Sonic, it just goes straight from there. Uh, this somehow struck a balance between the human characters and the Sonic characters, which is pretty great. And you have Tom and Manny at the wedding set up by gun while Sonic and Tails are off to find the Master Emerald. That actually worked. There were there really wasn't a moment in the film where I want to see more Sonic and Tails than Tom and Maddie. I do enjoy how everyone got an arc in this, and it was handled rather well, and it worked together in the end. The strongest part of the film is definitely Knuckles, Sonic, and Tails. You can feel their friendship forming. I was so happy to see them together and fighting as a team. We actually haven't seen that in a long time in the game universe. We have seen it a bit in the comic universe recently. So again, it's very nice to see. Seeing Knuckles have an actual arc in his character develop really brings this home. I love his relationship to Sonic the most and how they became friends. It does remind me a lot of the games and early forms of Sonic media to an extent. Um, this also builds up well and it reminds much like how Tails was gaining his confidence in himself and his friends. We see Knuckles slowly change sides and Tails gain his confidence, which is again technically Sonic Adventure 1 stuff, but it's still nice to see. I don't find any of the writing rushed. I was surprised to see Super Sonic, yes, but it was leading up to that point when we saw the Chaos Emeralds and the Master Emeralds. The acting is pretty fantastic too, along with how they portray each character. These are strong writers who are listening to the source material and their fans, which makes this work. The style. They built Tails' playing, the other set pieces, and the models. It also has details in the models and locations and references. From Stone owning a mean bean machine coffee house, to Tails' translator, translator Labyrinth Stone, Knuckles' love for grapes, Babylonian hieroglyphics, and so much more. I don't think we've really got to this point where, even when we got to the point where Sonic was drowning and sucks in a bubble for air, I almost felt my PTSD rise and waiting for the music to kick in. You know the one. And anyway, Tails getting a gun is my new aesthetic. I love how he and Eggman got guns. Oh, Eggman kind of got a gun. If you read IDW, he pulls out a gun and tries to shoot Tails. And I'm fine with that. A, a lot of fans are. But when Shadow got it, we all lost it. Anyway. Actually, Tails was pretty chaotic. He hit Knuckles with a police car. I didn't expect that. Some of the locations actually appear in the games. Although, we th I thought it was going to be Angel Island. But it was actually Labyrinth Zone when you look throughout the stage. The Mount in Siberia reminds me a lot of Ride Acropolis, even with the snowboarding section, even though I know it came in Sonic Adventure 1. Seeing Knuckles in his village is adorable. I like the Babylonians and how they're used in this. We rarely see them as is in the mainline, so it's nice of them to have like a part. Much like how IDW uses um, Team the, the Babylon Rogues in the Metal Virus arc. It was really great. I hope for more of this mix because that is the strongest part of the film. It has Sonic and his friends, but it has interesting changes that make some sense. He's the guardian of the Master Emerald in this universe, but then all three of them later become it. It is Tails, but it's still more chaotic, and again, he made a gun. Knuckles, but he has a lot more honor and isn't living alone on an island, which, nice change. I, I, don't, I don't mind him living on the island, but this is a nice thing. I hope we get more of this and more personal personality changes to certain characters, but again, these were the good parts of the film, really. The good. They didn't ruin Knuckles. Thank you. Instead, it felt like he was an actual threat in the early days of Sonic. He is lonely and filled with honor. He is naive, but once he realizes his mistakes, he changed his side is now a friend of Sonic and Tails. Kind of their family now? Adoptive, but still stands. Tails being nervous and shy is nice to see, but then him holding a gun and firing at robots as he helps Sonic and Knuckles fight is just chef's kiss, personally, and him getting confidence. The dance scene's a lot of fun. I miss that in films and show. The action scenes work and actually appear how they do in the game, minus Tails with the gun. I would argue that Knuckles and Sonic use their combo move from Sonic Dark Chronicles Revolver Slam. Heck, some of the moves Sonic and Tails use also remind me of the Blue Bomber from the game. I don't know if they can do that. Are they still banned? I don't know. I think Sonic and Tails are using the Blue Bomber, but I'm not sure. Granted, I have no idea if this was intended or not, but it seems like it. Again, the details with the models are a huge improvement. You can see the hairs and details on those models, it's insane! Again, the time and effort they put into their references is so amazing. 
seeing Sonic slide down the water, Robotic slowly become even more Eggman. It's such a treat. Again, Knuckles and Grapes, his backstory, I think is so good. Another strong point in the movie is that it does reference the games, but it also does its own thing. Again, Sonic being a guardian of the Master Emerald is a very clever idea on something we haven't seen, I think, I don't know, I don't know everything about Sonic. I love the history between the Echidna tribes and the Babylonians, assuming that's what they were going for. Seeing the Master Emerald and Chaos Emerald was an awesome idea. I wasn't expecting Super Sonic, but that was so good. Nice references to Sonic X2 with that fight scene. Also, the post credit scene was actually set up from certain parts of the movie, one being Gun, but that was pretty obvious. Another thing is, if you look on one of the helicopters, you see SA2. You weren't subtle, uh, but I do think this was the best way to go. After, after introducing Supersonic, Shadow the Hedgehog is a good choice. He's popular and a fan favorite. I'm just worried about Rouge the Bat and the Black Arms. I find if we don't acknowledge the Black Arms, but please be careful with Rouge. Either way, good choice, and this was about to get even more chaotic. But again, the details. When the female gun agent said, we found a file dated about 50 years ago. The details, we love to see it. Shadow even locked in a base that was just so wonderful. I do love how they listen to the fans. Keep doing that. This is why this works. They're listening to us and doing their research. Thank you for doing it. That's literally all we wanted. Not even kidding. Bad. For me, it's the first few minutes that hurt this, but it isn't bad. I do get that this is a kids movie, so it is for kids. After that, nothing else really bothers me about it. Again, they handled Knuckles and Tails so well. Agent Stone is always a delight. Everyone had a moment of shine. This was really well done. Good job. So, what's to come next after this one? Well, that Mario movie's got delayed, so I don't know. Are we even excited for that one? Personally, I'm not. Good luck topping this, I'm gonna be honest. Anyway, Knuckles has a TV show, and I hope we get the chaos in that. Maybe Amy? I can see Amy appearing that, since she and Knuckles are pretty good pals. And the Chaotix do have a connection to Amy through Cream, so it, it makes sense. Again, Shadow is obviously in the next movie, so good job, everyone. We manifested our favorite emo hedgehog of all time in this. If we have Amy, Blaze, and Silver in Chaos, that's all I want, personally. And the Chows, give me the Chows. Anyway, of course, both projects do not have confirmed release dates, but that's fine. They're taking their time, making sure everything is working properly. They listen to us, so I trust them to get this done and deliver wonderful movies and side stories. Also, Robert Pattinson, if you're listening to this, please voice Shadow. It would make my younger sibling very happy, along with the internet. But again, Robert Patterson, please voice him. That's all I ask. Okay, in conclusion, five out of five. This is a delight. This is, this broke the video game movie curse. Well, I would argue Professor Layton did, but I don't know if anyone remembers that movie. I cannot wait for the more of this. This is a lot of fun. You can tell how much love and care they put into this. So let's do it. Again, thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.